Phil Martino is here for a look at the day's top business stories. And let's start with something we don't hear every day, Phil. We're about to get more money back from the government. That's right. Who doesn't want more money in their pocket? So the Canadian families will get between $760 and $2,160 in carbon price rebates this year, depending on where you live. Rebates are set by province based on total fossil fuel use in each jurisdiction. The carbon price itself is being hiked another $15 per ton. The price increase will add another 3.3 cents to a liter of gasoline and about 2.9 cents to a cubic meter of natural gas. Most families will see a bigger rebate as a result, $64 more every three months in Alberta and 36 more in Ontario, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Some of you are probably saying, I had no idea about these rebates. But yes, we do have these rebates. The rebates were discussed on Parliament Hill today. The Liberals are promoting them as an affordability measure, noting data that show shows 80% of families will get more from the rebates than they pay in carbon pricing. All right, good news. A little more money can go a long way for, for a lot of people. Okay, the Canadian housing market continues to heat up. You know, Canadians are starting to buy again, and we're seeing this more and more. A January home sales in Canada jumped 22% compared with a year ago. It's the largest year-over-year -year gain since May of 2021. The Canadian Real Estate Association says the increase reflected weakness last year, which saw the worst start to almost any year in the past two decades. Sales last month were still about 9% below the 10-year average. The national average home price was about $659,000. $1,400, up 7.6% from January of 2023. Experts say all the signs are there that we are starting our recovery. All right, and finally, today is a big day for chocolate shops and florists, but apparently criminals, they don't take Valentine's Day off either, Phil. You think they would take this one day off. Mm. Please, just one day, take this one off. <laughs> In any case, uh, the OPP are warning people about romance frauds involving cryptocurrencies on this Valentine's Day. They say victims may be contacted on social media platforms or dating applications by a fraudster who's attempting to develop a romantic relationship with the victim. After trust is gained, the fraudster may claim to have a successful investor in cryptocurrency and offer to help the victim make some money. They use fake online investment apps or trading platforms to ask victims to transfer funds or cryptocurrency into their trading account. In 2023, the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre received fraud reports totaling a staggering $554 million in victim losses, surpassing the 2022 historic loss amount of $530 million. Goodness. Okay. Thanks, Phil. That's Phil Martino in the City News Business Centre. Thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.